let's continue with our gate last 33 years questions yeah. so first you people try so it is saying that sigma is going to be 1 smaller than equal to n big of n where big of n stand for n is okay big of n stand for order of n okay order of n is so if you do this summation what is going to be the answer here it is saying mst see previously when yeah, good evening Nisu. means like at 1993 that multiple select questions was there okay so here more than one options can be the correct one so this is saying that it is having a summation from i is going to be your that case so here it's k so k is greater than equal to and is smaller than equal to n big of n okay so in big of n you can substitute only as n so it is like in place of n it is going to be 1 then 2 it's a summation then 3 then 4 then 5 like this it is going to till n okay now since you have substituted in place of big o only only n only n so it is already greater it is already greater okay it is already greater so it is going to your summation of this is going to n into n plus 1 by 2 that is going to your big o of n square because upper bound is going to n square okay now since it is n square so since it is n square so it is n cube also and 3 n square it's a, it's a constant it is not going to affect it is also n square so 1.5 see we you know that that we are not going to consider the const, constant it is again going to your n square only so b c d is the correct yeah correct understood anyone having any doubt if you are having doubt then you can let me know otherwise i will go to the next question is it clear all of you clear as abhi so this kind of questions you are going to get in your gate exam okay confusion in c sir dekho c me confusion hai okay imam c in the first lecture we have seen that if some function is having big of n square it means that it means let us see fn is equal to uh, if i am saying that it's big of it's big of gn it means fn is smaller than equal to c gn okay this is the meaning and c is greater than equal to 1 some constant and n is greater than equal to n naught and n naught is greater than equal to 1 okay now if some function if some function see fn and gn is two function fn and gn is two function if fn like some function which is smaller than equal to n square okay let us assume if it is smaller than equal to 5 then can you say that it is even is smaller than equal to 10 can you say that it is even is smaller than equal to 15 can you say that it is even is smaller than equal to 20 yes you can say that you can say that so that's why when some function is bounded by n square then it is even bounded by n cube then it is even bounded by n to the power 4 then it is even bounded by n to the power 5 then it is even bounded by 2 to the power n exponential Imam is it clear now? Agar kisi function ko kuch value se kam hai. Agar wo 5 se kam hai to 10 se bhi to kam hoga na. 15 se bhi to kam hoga. Agar n square se kam hai to definitely n cube se bhi kam hi hoga. Clear aara hai? Pahla hai din mein padhaya tha. Ki agar fn jaysay n square hua. To wo hum upper bound n cube bhi ka sakte hai. Upper bound n to power 4 bhi bol sakte hai. Lekin isse kya bolte hai? Tightest upper bound. Or tight upper bound. Okay. Yeh sab mein sab first class mein bataya hoon. चलिए क्लियर है 